Hi guys, Raza here from Fine Focus Films. So this is our special feature about World Wetlands Day and we are here in Rawal Dam, a dam which replenishes the water requirement of two cities, Islamabad and Rawalpindi. And I'm literally standing on a waste dump. So I'm going to show you the good, the bad and the ugly. So I'm here at Rawal Lake and this is our special feature about World Wetlands Day. World Wetland Day is important for me for two reasons. The first reason is the wetlands are very fragile ecosystems. Rivers, lakes, oceans are under immense pressure from human intervention and they have been affected worst by environmental pollution. So the second reason is 10 years ago, back in 2011, I got my first freelance project from WWF which was also on wetlands. So I have been going around the lake and looking for all the things what I can see here. I've seen some wonderful bird life here and I've seen some worst plastic pollution here. This lake is not accessible from all the sides because on many sides there has been some construction going on. There has been some construction from VVIPs. There has been some construction for private firms. There have been some construction in the sector of housing. Well, I'll show you the source from where the plastic is generated I will show you the banks of this lake and I will show you the spillway. And all these things tells one same story, plastic pollution. Well, this fact is not hidden that this dam, this lake does fulfill the requirement of water for Twin Cities. And if we are drinking this water, you might be thinking to come and visit this place. You might be thinking to get this water tested in any lab for any contamination because what I see here, it's all plastic, it's all environmental pollution. So about 6% of the Earth's surface is wetland. And wetlands are under immense pressure from human intervention and all the plastic pollution, environmental pollution, and all those adverse activities which could affect wetlands are created and generated by humans. About one third of wildlife is either directly or indirectly dependent on wetlands. That's why it's important to have healthy wetland ecosystems. If you want to know more facts about wetlands, you can see our other video. The link is in the description. So this video is specifically focusing on Rawal Dam, the source from where the water comes, Korang River, that's also polluted, how Rawal Dam and its banks are polluted, and the spillway, that's also polluted. So this, what you see here, we are uh, traveling parallel to Korang River. And on the other side, you can see it's the town of Baraku or some other towns. And we have come from the Banigala side. This is the solid waste, plastic waste, plastic pollution. You can see some birds here as well. And this, what you see is the Korang River. And you can see there, there is some uh, uh, tile, tile factory, block factory. They make uh, concrete blocks, tiles. On the way, we have seen some uh, poultry farms. And this is what goes into the Korang River. And this is what goes into the Rawal Lake. So I'm literally sitting here on the waste dump. All the plastic pollution, all the garbage has ended up on different banks of this lake. I have visited different sites of this lake which were possible to visit and let me tell you the story is the same on every other bank of this lake. It is full of plastic, it is full of garbage. 
uh, so we went to the uh, Korong River we have seen the towns which are uh, on the side of the riverbank and all the local industry the small-scale industry uh, crushing uh, we have uh, poultry farms we have uh, uh, all sort of uh, industry the wood makers we have uh, tiles bricks and all that uh, waste pollutants that all goes into the Korang River and Korang River uh, then comes uh, or joins Rawal Lake and I've already shown you the pictures and images of Rawal Lake. We've got Naveed here uh, and Muhammad bin Naveed uh, who gave us this uh, visit and he has got more insight uh, of the topic and we are going to ask him now that uh, what is his opinion. He's been living here for very long. So, Naveed, uh, just, just tell us about this, this Rawal Lake and then this Korang River and all of this going into it. What are your concerns and how do you see it? Um, thank you, Asan Bhai. Well, I think the first concern is that um, everyone's drinking from it and any waterway anywhere is a source of, um, you know, life and sustenance for not just human beings but animals as well. So, human beings, you know, we can manage to get water, water and destroy the environment that way but uh, when it comes to your ecology your um, animals birds wildlife even a uh, fish everything um, human waste is causing a huge 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 issue in terms of uh, the ecological negative e ecological impact we're having and especially if you look at Barako you have uh, the amount of people who live in one entire sector of Islamabad squeezed into the space of maybe few dozen houses like 10 houses in Islamabad the same area has enough people to house an entire sector of the uh, city here so um, that doesn't mean that if they're living in a smaller area they're going to have a smaller trash footprint that's not the case they're still human beings they're still going to utilize um, uh, you know plastics and they're still going to utilize um, uh, the kind of uh, trash creating uh, 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 products that we have and aside from that because 99% of this construction is informal. It has not been planned. There is no management plan. There is no standard. There is no, um, um, you know, there's no one standing there supervising saying you must have a septic tank in your house. You must have proper drainage. Your streets must have proper drainage. You can't mix, mix uh, sewage and gray water, things like that. None of that exists here. And uh, what you see at the end, what happens by the time you reach Raval Lake is that you have an entire layer of trash, um, sewage, uh, medical waste, uh, animal waste, dead animals, um, thrown away clothes, shoes, plastic, medicines. I mean, the kind of trash that we have here, it's... It, it, there's one of everything here there's one literally one of everything here and uh, the issue right now is that uh, due to the informal nature of all of Barako and Banigala there are industries which should be completely separated from residential areas and areas catchment areas such as Korang River which feed the Raval Lake uh, they should be separated from that because there are chemical waste industrial waste there is air pollution there are particulate matter there's a million things which happen because of that and right now you can hear behind us construction going on pace of construction here despite uh, you know uh, stay orders or whatnot has been uh, it's 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 been i mean we can't we can't measure it i mean we we don't understand how this area this informal area is able to support so much construction because it doesn't have the infrastructure it doesn't have the solid waste waste management it doesn't have the drainage systems it has it has no uh, it has there, there is nothing here to manage this kind of waste i think it's high time that we thought about it and not just having a few dozen people come here and clean things up but actually have governments and actually have your district uh, uh, you know uh, dcs or whatever they are uh, come here and institute management plans institute awareness plans for the people because uh, the fact is that uh, sitting in our cities and uh, on Twitter we might think that we know everything about the world and how things are going to happen but the majority of our country doesn't they do not have that access they do not have that knowledge they do not have that awareness they're right now just struggling to make ends meet and but uh, that doesn't mean that they should uh, disregard these kind of issues I think the government needs to take a much 
more proactive response because yeah i know government can't do everything but this is still pakistan and our people still tend to listen to the biggest entity and that is the government in our country so you know uh, high time that we come up with uh, large scale city wide region wide country wide management plans because islamabad is not just a few sectors anymore pindi is not just uh, you know faizabad to sadar anymore these cities have spread over i mean i don't e- i i can't even give you an idea of how far they've spread baraka was fully a part of islamabad right now um uh, and uh, it needs to be managed the same way that islamabad is being managed or should be managed i don't know if it's being managed right now even properly but uh, uh, whoever is in charge needs to look at where the source of all this all these issues is coming from and it starts way way far away from islamabad and uh, the kurang river goes all the way up to uh, mari side and all the catchment area starts from there starts from a trickle but when it be- becomes a river at this point we're sitting in a pile of trash right now you can't see it you might think we're sitting on grass but there's every kind of trash item here right now because that is how many people yeah just i mean i don't even want to touch half of these things but that's the thing that this is all seeping into the water yeah. this is all seeping into the ground this is all seeping into your crops this is what your animals are eating this is what the goats are eating this is what uh, your cows are eating this is what uh, uh, the birds are eating this is what there's poultry farms all across the back here about that uh, uh, like we were, we were talking about solutions and the first solution comes to the mind of pakistani people is that let's uh, plan a clean up activity so this is this is not something for for clean up activities clean up activity is a one day activity a one week activity maximum and then then what's going to happen next uh, uh, do you think this 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 thing is going to be solved no until and unless we do not uh, go to the source we do not tackle the issue from the source through proper awareness as you said management plans at every level uh, union council districts all those levels which are which are possible only then we can we can properly do it or or and, and i also believe that we do not have that much time for that this this thing you see if if you come i'm i'm willing to take you there and and to show you anyone uh, navin is here and we can show you those places we can show you from where we got all this footage uh, we only film for like 3 days yeah. and and this is this is something you can film for 30 days and still you won't be able to film all of it so so this is this is something that needs to be uh, taken into consideration and and i hope uh something uh, better will happen and 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 not just from government point of view from the citizen point of view as well we need to be get 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 awareness on on plastic pollution how to go or how to reduce your plastic footprint how to reduce your water and carbon footprint as well so if we can do that we can create that awareness we can we can devise those man- management plans only then we can tackle these issues so on this wetlands day i wanted to show you the rawal dam and what's polluting the rawal dam from where all those uh, pollutants are coming into the rawal dam and what's going out of the rawal dam uh, into the uh, pipelines of uh, citizens of two cities so you should be aware uh, and and i hope i hope uh, the purpose of this video is problem solving and creating awareness and maybe someone somewhere will take action so any f- final words you want to add to it so just my it. final words would uh, just be this that um yeah we need uh, we need we need large scale action on this and we need large scale uh, mobilization for this and by mobilization i don't mean bring 100 people here and start telling them to clean up by mobilization i mean policy makers advocates lobbyists um, consultants create management plans for our cities starting from islamabad starting from baraka because we're supposed to show a certain face to the world and if uh, the outskirts of our capital are in this condition then uh, you know i think uh, there's a lot more that needs to be done
if we have to show a positive face to the world i am right now looking at uh, i'm going to say this directly the prime minister's house he's it's right in front of us yeah. right in front of us and all of this is happening right underneath it so uh, i'm sure he's a busy man i hope this message does get across to him so he comes and sees right here what's happening not even a kilometer from his house the, the kind of um, um uh, the mismanagement that's going on and again this is not to blame anyone yeah. this is just decades, decades and decades and decades of accumulated uh you know uh, unregulation informal uh, construction you can't blame anyone for it but we can fix it it takes some time but you know uh, there's so much else that that has been done this i think this is this yeah. is the time to do this as well i don't think we'll get any time in the future i think uh, window of opportunity until the next decade starts or even less than that 2030 is when we should start thinking about you know packing up yeah because this is all we have these 10 years is all we have to do something that leaves a lasting impact so that's all i have to say baki the you've seen everything in the video you've seen everything in the shots in the pictures and, and what's going on you're smart enough to realize that this is what's going into our bodies into our environment into our children's bodies into our you know uh, pets animals what we feed what we eat crops everything so yeah something needs to be done quick so so thank you uh, thank you navid speaking for us and um, taking us on a tour uh, all those who are watching this video and if this video is reaching out to you please do give a feedback and comment if you want to connect with us if there's any way we can do some collaboration some collective work to fix this this is not just a video for the sake of a video and this is not just a vlog for getting some some views or something this we we want we really want to solve a problem through storytelling and this is what we are doing here and and if if anyone can 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 do something about it let's just let's just do it and and fix our issues fix uh, our problems plastic pollution uh, environmental uh, pollution and all this this garbage dumps we see every day let's just fix them and save our wetlands uh, and as i said in the start of the video one third of the wildlife and all the endangered species they depend on uh, wetlands so uh do do give your comment and uh, for now bye bye